he said. They have moved. <laughs> Stephen, I looked at each other. We'd been told that guerrilla groups only move on average about a kilometer a day. We were not told this group would move while we were tracking it, nor what a kilometer actually was in the space and time of Buwindi. Very quietly and slowly we would find out. Lemwich took us off trail, splashing up rocky stream beds, down thicketed water courses, and slippery clay into dense bush. Another two hours of this and Steve was exhausted and I was almost done. Once more the walkie-talkie broke into an excited static squawking. Lemwich returned it pacing back and forth along the trail. He looked at us after it had gone silent. What? Steve and I said in synchrony. Oh, we have two choices, Lemwich said. I already didn't like the sound of this one. One of them must be death by Zugzug, I said. We can reach the gorillas on a flat trail, he said. This will take approximately another hour and a half. I didn't like the sound of that. I didn't have another hour and a half in me, and I didn't trust Lemwich's definition of time or topography. And the other option, I said. Oh, we can go up this trail, he said. Ten minutes to the gorillas. Steve and I looked at where Lemwich had pointed. There was no trail. It was just another steep bank of jungle, barely slanting, straight up from the path. Lemwich has said, there's no trail here. He took his machete and began cutting vertical steps into the clay hill. The entire insect world encircling us soared into a high reverberating metallic whine. Now there is a trail, he says. <laughs> Steve and I shrugged and began grabbing limbs, weak and clumsy handholds to stop her from, from tumbling into the gas vast void below. Ten minutes came and came again and space disappeared into time and time into space. I can't remember arriving at the top of the bluff we had climbed. But when I came to the end of the dark wood in the hill, I looked up and saw it brighten with the sun that leads men right on every road. That's T.S. Eliot, by the way. The fear that had settled in my heart through such a miserable night became calmer. My vision was flickering in and out. I made out another patch of red, wing, red winged flies lifting off another black splotch of spore. And I heard language and the words, almost there. And placing his hand on mine with a calm expression that comforted me, he led me towards the hidden things. I cannot rightly say how I entered it. I was so full of sleep. And then, there was the smell. So they were there, but they didn't care. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, happy to answer any questions if you have them. Um, otherwise, oh, yeah, so that's it on Amazon. Uh, this is a this is a quote that Tahir Shah gave me before I uh, went on the gorilla trip. So I'm redoing all the Orion's Cartwheels quadrilogy books, new covers. So that's the first one. That's the second one. I don't have the other two yet. Uh, but this is the book of the day. So here's the deal. This is my plug. Uh, if you're interested, no pressure, because you're not going to find out what happens in the book unless you buy the book. Uh, I have it over here. Just happen to have some. So it goes like this one for 25, two for 45, three for 65, four for 85. And if you buy them all, I'll give you a special deal. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Great.